What up guys, it is Naren Daniel here today and we are doing some KSP. Now this is a tutorial on how to use the uh, Alcubert drive, I don't even know, but it's a warp drive pretty much. Um, so what you will need is an Alcubert drive, so you get an electric generator, gen generator uh, a fission reactor on below the electric generator and below that you will want the warp drive and you will want something to get in space you will definitely need the radiators otherwise you cannot use the warp drive um, so yeah should just go right ahead um, fuck hopefully I have enough fuel to get into space you know um should be fine and rockets in three two one kill so what will happen is this will charge up um until that gets to a hundred percent and you'll be able to fire the warp drive real quick and it's pretty awesome you can see what happens. So I think I'm just gonna walk a bit of time. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> it doesn't all flip over. Um, yeah, come on, keep going, keep going. I did post a video on my other channel, I think, about this or this channel. And there go the solid rocket boosters. Um, yeah, about this, and it was with no voice, so you probably didn't know half to do anything so yeah this should help a little bit um yeah ah, ah, no no if this spins out I'm gonna fucking destroy the human race keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going so it doesn't really matter how much fuel you need you just need a hundred percent and you need to be in space so it should be fine yep fine it's all good almost got it so I'm sorry this is in the dark um can't really do anything about that except for walk time but I really don't want to do that so I'm gonna separate the stage here there we go that is I'm gonna deploy the heat radiators um you need to deploy all of them Otherwise, you're completely overload, and we're going to activate the warp drive. Whee! And I'm going to turn it off because so Kerbin is now all the way over there, which is fucking amazing. So I'm going to show you something. Um, so right now we are on a escape vector to round the sun. So as I do this, I'm just going to warp away. You can see Kerbin and the moon in the background as we leave Kerbin the white trail of awesomeness and our compared drive. So yeah, cool. Um, what you can do is increase the warp speed by a lot. So you can go up to like 20C which will get you to pretty much any planet. Pretty much instantly. Um, but it does take a long, long time to charge. So yeah, we are currently not very far away from Kerbin, but I think we may as well take a quick trip to Jewel. You know, it's all good. Um, target that. Ah, just use that. Keep it on the target and activate the warp drive. So, as you can see, oh shit, we're gonna hit Gina. Oh, oh, my, ooh, nope, missed it by several thousand million kilometers. So, as you can see, 20C is bloody fast. Like, yeah, it, it's very fast. Um, Kerbals don't seem to mind. Um, 
but yeah. Um, there's also a bad thing about this. I forgot to add thrusters. Because as you exit warp, you'll be going as fast as you started warp. So we started warp at about 20,000, but now it's gone up to that. Which is slightly annoying. But you know what? Nobody gives a fuck, so yeah. Now, I may, once we get closer, just go down to 0.10c, which is. I'm not sure, but I should do that round about now. And we're gonna pull that down to 0.10c. And. I'm all good, waste heat is good, SAS is on, I am now going out of the solar system because I'm going 9,000 meters per second, which is ridiculous, so I'm going to set that target again, and we're going to activate the warp drive. Now the cool thing about this, even if you're going at point 10 C, you can activate the normal warp drive, like warp, and so as you see we are coming into dual, oh, okay, gonna zoom past it a little, maybe, a little bit, just gonna course correct here, so yeah, I would like to thank you for watching this quick video on the warp drive I will leave the description the, the description the link for the warp drive in the description and I hope to see you next time on Nern. Subscribe for more